Hi, this is Tim. In this lesson, we're going to talk about how to wire a 4 to 20 milliamp two wire current loop device. In a previous lesson, we talked about the difference between a two wire current loop and a four wire current source. So make sure you caught that lesson as well. Note that this is an excerpt from a live stream, so it is not perfect. But let's talk about two wires. So if we go back to our manual here, this was our four wire side. And first, you know, in here, I'm not super happy with how they do this manual, but you know, um, everybody is a critic, so I don't want to go too far down that. I do have people that think that two wire devices are for input one and four wire devices are for input zero. That's not true. You can use these on either side, but let's look at the current, let's look at the two wire device. So in this case, we need to send voltage to it and then we need our analog input. So we're going to do the exact opposite of what we have. Now, one thing I didn't show is, yeah, now whether it's just me being kind of cautious or just being in usually horrific power environments, that's kind of coincidental since we just had a tree catch on fire uh, right by the training center. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, um, but I usually would not put the common, or in the two wires case, the voltage through the module. And my thinking on that is, if you do have something, you cut your, I say your risk in half, especially on the voltage side. You know, we go out and we power something and we short the conduit, well, all that current's gonna have to go through here. And I get they have protection and all those things, but I usually would feed it from the plus 24. And one, usually I'm gonna have a fuse on it. So I'm usually gonna have a 32 amp fuse, I'm sorry, 32 amps, 32 milliamp fuse on my milliamp signals. That way if something does happen, pops a fuse, everything else gets to running. And the first thing I can tell a technician when he's like, hey, my level sensor aren't working, I'd be like, hey, check the fuse. And you know, of course, first thing you do, what do you do? You change the fuse again, it pops again, and you find out that your device is bad. But okay, in this case, what we're gonna do is, first thing I'm gonna do is I wanna move this common in one. Let me go over here to our screen focus, and let's go to you see right now it's 16380 roughly as i'm going to take this common off of here and i'm going to move it over to the zero volt on my power supply just so you can see it's the same value so i, I that's how i would actually wire it so i'd only end up with one wire over here on the analog signal also i think that makes it a little clearer when we um when we get a troubleshoot now, when you have two wires Coming out of a device that is foreign to you, or you're like, yeah, I have no idea about four to twenties. I know how to wire a light switch. When you see two wires coming out of it, it's kind of magical. I mean, if I have 24 volt going to a fuse, going out to a device and coming back, that's almost like any other circuit. So I think it just removes a little bit of it. That's just me though. So now what we're gonna do is we are going to make this a two wire setup. So if I go back right now, I can go up and there is current two wires. And I'm just going to pop one of the wires off of here just so we don't have to deal with any shorts or anything. And when I go to it, we're going to see that our PLC input is still our red, but see, it told us now we need plus 24 here, just like our drawing did. So now this wire needs to go to our plus 24. But first, let me do it exactly like they have it. And so if we go and look at the wiring diagram, they're showing it going out of the bottom terminal. Now, again, I'm using input zero here, but we're coming out of this voltage terminal here for our two wire device. So I am going to take this wire loose and put it on that bottom terminal. What? It's like I'm pulling out the paper. <laughs> We left everything that wasn't essential to do this live stream at the training center. So we are having some interesting things right now. But okay, let's see. Please save the streaming to watch it when we need it. Well, you know, if it turns out <laughs> okay, we will. Otherwise, we may be doing another live stream. But I think we're. I think this is going to be okay. So now we have plus voltage. Oops. Didn't type that side post up enough. So now we have plus 
voltage coming out of that bottom terminal going to the black and then our red is going back to our input so now let's go back over to our screen and let's look at that value and all right right now i'm at zero milliamps so i'm going to bring it up to four all right so four look we have almost the same value 3277 that was roughly what we had last time and we're going to bring it up to 20 and we've got roughly the same thing 16384 so at 20 milliamps we're showing that same value of 16384 now again i would not have this here especially on the voltage side because there's too many things i think that can happen in the field i would have this wire coming out of the plus 24 and again especially if i'm on a larger system where there's a lot of analog and you know one sensor going back and take down you know all those i will have 32 milliamp fuses on them that way i mean and really this is one case you know people are like hey you know you shouldn't use fuses and use circuit breakers i don't think there's a 32 milliamp circuit breaker out there uh, so this is one case that you do use fuses and same deal i move it over and we still have 16384 now that's great and everything but one what is the 16384 that's the next thing we need to figure out and rockwell has done so much of a better job let's see hold on i'm sorry uh jason yes you're correct uh the first one and we can look at that right here the first module is a voltage input uh the second module is a voltage output and then we have the current input that we're working with right now and a current output for a 4 to 20 out but used to, it was written in many of the PLCs. This is a knock and Rockwell. In many of them, it is a guessing match to figure out what these values are. But if we double click on this module here, it's gonna bring up the module properties. And then right here, we have the configuration tab. And if we look at it, here it is. Our low engineering is 3277. And our high engineering is 16383. Now, this is one of those that we need to do a little math on and i know a lot of times when i start saying math i get glazed over looks but really if we walk through this slowly then i think we can do it and hopefully i have enough of what we need down here to walk through this math because what we're going to use is what they call y equals mx plus b and when i say that everybody's heard of it and everybody kind of remembers it but then it's like all right i really don't know what it is so if we look here's here it is y equals mx plus b and yeah i'm not even gonna put this in the present mode we're just gonna do this like this i'll put a link to the 40 20 milliamp lesson series in the description till next time hey this is Tim. and this is amber of tw controls we run the automation store hey thanks for finding our channel here's a playlist with some similar videos and youtube thinks you'll like this video please like our video and subscribe to our channel and if our videos have helped you make some money and you're not using our products, please consider supporting us on Patreon. Till next time. See ya.